Hi yogis, it's Cassandra. Today we're doing a 45 minute practice to really stretch and open up the entire side body. This is one of my all time favorite classes. It's a really wonderful way to target the obliques, get deep into the IT band and open up and stretch into the side of the neck as well, which we can hold a lot of tension there if we work at a desk all day or if you notice that you shrug your shoulders up. So we're gonna work that quite a bit and you will need one block in order to do our practice today. And we'll go in right away, put the block somewhere close to the top of the mat just so it's there when we need it. Begin in a comfortable seated pose. So for me, that's cross-legged. For you, it might be kneeling. Either one will work. And as you lift up through the chest, press your shoulders down and away from the ears. You're going to interlace your fingers behind your lower back and then bring your knuckles and your palms as far over towards the left side of your waist as you possibly can. Once it's there, repress the shoulders down, free up the neck, and we're gonna to start to turn our chin and look over the top of our left shoulder. So we're not dropping the chin down or lifting it up too high. You want it about parallel to the ground. Press down on your right shoulder and look back until you get that stretch. Take one more inhale. Let's unwind, come back to center, switch sides. So bring your knuckles as far over towards the right side of your body as you can and press the left shoulder down. Inhale to lengthen and on the exhale, start to look over your right shoulder. So collarbones are still facing forward. You're pressing your left shoulder down. Take one more long inhale through the nose and exhale, bring the chin back to center. Release the fingertips to the floor. We're gonna extend our right leg out to the side. Keep your left foot pretty close towards the inner thigh. Sit bones are grounded to the floor. You're gonna slide your right hand down your right leg. As you inhale, reach your left arm up overhead and on the exhale, move into your side bend. So not folding towards our right leg, keep drawing your left shoulder back and get that extension from your left shoulder all the way down into the side of your waist. We can release the neck a little bit more in this pose. Try to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Keep the upper body in your side bend, but you're going to extend your left arm out to the side just to hover it about a foot or so off the floor. Let the head dangle a little bit more. Reach through the left fingertips. Use your core strength to slowly lift yourself all the way back up. And before we do the other side, you're gonna plant your left palm down to the floor, press the legs into the ground and reach your right arm up and over. So lifting the hips up stretching through the right fingertips inhale and exhale set that right arm down lower the hips to the floor and switch sides so this time right foot in left leg out bring your right foot pretty close towards that inner thigh we start with our side bend so you can slide your left leg or sorry you can slide your left palm down your left leg as you inhale reach the right arm up and then exhale move into that side bend so start by keeping that arm up overhead and extending through the fingers, drawing that right shoulder back, breathing deeply into the right side of your waist. Now soften the neck, let your head be heavy. So the left shoulder drops towards, or the left ear drops towards the left shoulder. We're gonna hover the right hand just about a foot or so off the ground. Reach through the fingertips as much as you can. Press the shoulder down. Breathing deeply. And your abdominals lift you back up. Plant the right hand to the floor. Reach your left arm up and over as you lift your hips. Side stretch. Hips come down to the ground. 
Let's make our way onto all fours in a tabletop pose. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Normally we do cat and cow by dropping the belly, lifting the gaze, and on the exhale we round to contract. This time because we're focusing on side body, we're gonna do cat and cow, but side to side. So your lower back and lower belly will stay fairly neutral. Engage your core a little bit here. As you inhale, you want to lengthen the spine as much as you can and really draw the shoulder blades down the back. And on the exhale, you're gonna contract by trying to bring your right shoulder and your right hip together to touch as you look over that right shoulder. So inhale, come to center. And then exhale, look over the left shoulder and compress the left side of your waist. A few more times, inhale forward, exhale, right hip and right shoulder come together inhale forward exhale over to the left last cycle here inhale reach your heart forward exhale look to the right inhale to center exhale over to the left come back to neutral we're gonna step our right toes back behind you and then cross your right foot as far over towards the left as you possibly can and look over your left shoulder. This should send the stretch a lot deeper through the side of your waist and a little bit into your right hip. Let's release and switch sides. So right knee in, over cross those left toes back behind you, press into your left hip and look over your right shoulder. Make your way back to center. Coming into downward facing dog, walk your palms a few inches past the shoulders, tuck the toes under and lift your hips up and back. Reaching into the heels, bend your knees generously. Shake out the head a few times. From this downward facing dog, you'll need to lift your heels really high off the ground. Make sure your feet are hip width distance apart. And then you're gonna drop both heels over towards the right side of your mat. Lift onto your left fingertips, bend your right knee and press into that left hip as you start to look underneath your left shoulder. One more full breath. And then plant the left palm down, lift your heels all the way back up. We'll switch sides. So heels go to the left this time. You can bend your left knee, press into that right hip and lift up onto your right fingertips as you look underneath your right shoulder. Coming back to center. From this downward facing dog, as you inhale, let's ripple forward through to your plank pose, over to your side plank, drop to the right side of your foot, lean on your right hand and extend your left arm up. Press the feet into the ground. See if you can lift your hips up a little bit more. And let's look down, left palm to the floor. Lower your push up all the way to your belly. Elbows hug in towards the rib cage. We'll come into our cobra pose. So toes point back as you inhale, chin and chest lift up. And on the exhale, pull the heart forward and down. Let's press back into child's pose. Big toes together, knees are wide apart. Normally we press our hips to our heels and fold straight forward. Here we're gonna take a side bend. So walk your fingertips as far over towards the left as you can, extending the right arm a little bit further and then fold down. Keep reaching through your right hip. Two breaths into the upper back. Bring the hands back to center and lift up into your downward facing dog. Reaching into the heels, press the chest towards the thighs. Let's take side plank to the other side. So inhale, come to plank. And let's roll to the outer edge of your left foot, lean on your left hand and extend your right arm up. We're lifting our hips up, 
engaging the obliques. Take another breath and we'll look down. Right hand comes to the floor, lower all the way to your belly, setting up for cobra. Toes point back, inhale, chin and chest lift up. Exhale to lower, coming into your child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. This time we're gonna walk our palms over towards the right side of our mat. Crawl the left fingertips as far as you can and then bring the forehead down. Let's lift the chest, walk the hands back to center. We meet in downward facing dog. We'll make our way to the top of the mat. So walk your feet forward, take as many little steps as you need. Once you're there, grab a hold of your block and place it on its highest level. So that will be the easiest way to get into it. We're gonna stretch into the IT band. Bend your knees generously and you're gonna cross your right foot behind your left. Bring your block all the way over towards the left side of your mat. Start to bend into your left knee, keep your right leg straight and press into your right hip as you fold forward. Right foot is really flexed and you can roll to the outer edge of that foot. You should feel this from the right glute traveling all the way down the outer edge of your leg and maybe all the way down into your foot. So this is not about the upper body. Soften the shoulders, the chest, and the head as much as you can. Let's unwind, make your way back to center, and we'll switch sides. So uncross the feet, and then this time left foot goes behind your right. Bring your block over towards the right side of your mat. Bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight and roll to the outer edge of that left foot as you press into that hip and soften down. You shake out the head. No tension in the neck or in the jaw. Uncross the legs, come back to center. You can move your block over towards the side of your mat, bend your knees a lot and roll all the way up to stand. Strong legs support you. Drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears, palms shine forward towards the top of the mat. So make your way to the top of the mat if you're not there already. We're gonna bring our big toes together, heels are about an inch or so apart. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead, interlace your fingers and release the thumb and the index. So inhale, lift up. And on the exhale, lean over towards the right, press into your left hip. Inhale, back up. And then exhale over to the left. Inhale, come on up. And then let's fold forward. Hinge at the waist, soften down, take your first flow. So inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, let's plant the palms, just step the feet back one by one. Take your plank pose, breathe in deeply. And we'll lower all the way down to our belly. Pointing the toes back so we can lift up to cobra. Hips stay pressing down to the floor. Release down and make your way into your downward facing dog. Lifting the hips up and back. Right leg will extend up towards the sky. Bend your right knee and open up your hip. So normally, we try to keep our right shoulder pressing down towards the floor so it stays square. But because we are stretching the side body today, you might want to come up onto the right fingertips. And as you lean that right foot as far over towards the left as you can, start to look underneath your right shoulder. So get that deep, deep stretch. Lift the knee up a little bit higher. And let's square the shoulder, straighten the right leg, square the hip, 
and we're going to bring our right foot forward in between the palms, the top of the mat. Left knee will come down to the floor. Make sure your knee is aligned over the top of the ankle and then we can lift up with the upper body. Tailbone is reaching down, hips are pressing forward and down. Spine is nice and long. Taking a side bend here, start by just bringing your right hand on your hip. Left arm reaches up and then over. So depending on the flexibility, you might want to stay here. Otherwise, if it's accessible, you can always bring your right fingertips down to the floor and lean a little deeper into it. Engage your core and lift back up. Both arms reaching up overhead. Back toes are curled under. Let's come into our high lunge. So left knee comes off the floor. Right knee is still going to bend generously. Opening up into our twist, let's bring our right arm back, left arm forward. Keep bending into that right knee and we're going to reverse from here. Right hand to the inside of your left thigh, left arm up and back. Get that deep side body stretch. One more inhale. And then exhale, windmill the palms to the floor. Take your full vinyasa this time. So inhale to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Strong legs, long arms. Press the hips up and back. And at the end of the exhale, you can lift your heels off the ground. Bend your knees, look past your palms, and step or hop to the top of the mat. Take your halfway lift once you're there, flat back, and exhale, fold forward. Press to stand, both arms reach up overhead, palms come together to touch. Exhale, hands drop the heart. Let's do that sequence on the second side. So at the top of the mat, big toes together, reach the arms up. Interlace your fingers, releasing the index and the thumb. So inhale to lift, and then exhale, hinge to the left. Inhale to center, and then exhale to the right. Inhale, come back up. Swan dive on the exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant the palms, let's step the feet back for this one. And we're gonna lower all the way to our belly. Pointing the toes back, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. From this downward dog, let's extend our left leg up towards the sky, bend the left knee and open up that hip. We're gonna side bend a little bit more, so maybe come up onto the left fingertips, reach your left foot towards the right side of your mat and look underneath your left shoulder. Don't let that knee drop. Keep lifting it up a little bit higher. And then plant the left hand down. Straighten the left leg so the hip is squared and we're gonna step it forward in between the palms. Setting ourselves up for our low lunge. So right knee down. Keep your left knee over the top of the ankle. Lift up. Find space in the chest. Come into your side bend. Left hand on your waist. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale, lean your right arm up and over. Just choose to stay here if you'd like, or you can bring your left fingertips to the floor and drop the hips a little bit lower. Your obliques lift you back up. Both arms reaching up, curl the back toes under if not done already, and hover the right knee off the floor for your high lunge. Moving from here into our twist, let's open up the arms. So left hand back, right hand forward, and we're going to reverse. Left hand towards your right thigh, right arm reaches up and over. Get that nice stretch through the right side of your waist. And let's bring both hands down towards the floor. Take your full vinyasa, inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. 
So make sure you have a block somewhere close to the top of the mat. You will probably need it for this next flow. Reach your right leg up towards the sky, keep it straight and squared. And then step your right foot forward in between the palms to the top of the mat. Warrior two, so left foot spins parallel to the short edge of your mat. And then arms reach out. Bend the right knee and drop the hips. Careful not to lean forward too much. Keep your shoulders over those hips. Bend the right knee a little more and press that right knee open. We'll take our side bend by reversing our warrior. Left hand down, right arm up. You can make this a little bit more challenging. Instead of keeping your left hand on your leg, you can maybe rest it towards your lower back or reach for your inner right thigh crease. Still bending the right knee. Take an inhale and exhale, warrior two. Deep breath in here, into extended triangle, or into extended side angle. Right fingertips can come down to the floor or on a block. Left arm extends up and over. You can use your arm to help press the knee open a little bit wider. Stay long from the fingertips all the way down to that left foot. And let's press into both legs to lift all the way back up into our warrior two. Coming to triangle, so straighten the right leg, bring your back toes in a little bit. Before we lower to our triangle pose, you're gonna bring your left hand towards your left thigh and reverse the triangle. So right arm up and back. Little side bend here, take an inhale. And then exhale, back up. Let's make our way into our triangle pose. Slide the right hand down the right leg. Extend your left arm up. From here, we'll be making our way into half moon. So let's start to look down at the floor and bring your left hand on your hip. Bend your right knee a little bit and depending on your flexibility, you might want to have your block placed in front of that right foot about six inches or so, or Fingertips come right to the floor. We're gonna stand on our right leg and then the left leg will reach up and back. You're trying to roll your left hip and your left shoulder back. Arm can reach up towards the sky. Engage the muscles in that left leg to help it lift up a little bit more. Pull the lower belly in. Now because this is a side body class, we're gonna come from here into sugar cane pose. You need to bend your left knee until you can catch a hold of your left foot. And if you have that, then you can start to press and kick that foot in towards the palm as you lean the head back. So you should feel this in the front of your left hip, down into the IT band, maybe into the quads a little. Take one more breath. And let's release downward dog. Bend the right knee, step the left foot back, palms shoulder width distance apart. Taking your vinyasa, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Setting up for the second side. Left leg up, keep it straight and squared and step it forward for warrior two. So left foot in between the hands. Right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Arms lifting out, palms facing down. Keep your shoulders aligned over your hips. Maybe bend your left knee a little more and let's reverse. Right hand down, left arm up. If you'd like to go deeper on this side, right hand can go towards your lower back or maybe reaching towards that inner hip. One more inhale. And we come to warrior two, arms out into our extended side angle. Left fingertips down to the floor, right arm up and over. Keep pressing the tailbone down while drawing your right shoulder back. So really deep hip opener. Looking wherever is comfortable for your neck. Press into both legs to come back into warrior two. Triangle pose, so let's straighten the left leg. Bring your back toes in a little bit. We're gonna reverse our triangle first. So right hand down, left arm up. 
lifting back to center and then full triangle pose so hips back slide that left hand down the left leg extend your right arm up towards the sky lower belly is hugging in upper ribs are knitting in so no need to puff out the chest too much super strong legs start to look down towards the floor bring your right hand on your hip bend into your left knee so you're either going to put your block about six inches in front of that left foot or you're going to drop your fingertips to the floor half moon standing on the left leg right leg lifts back and up try to pull and draw your right hip back right shoulder back also and then maybe the arm can extend up so focus on something that's not moving to help you with balance going deeper into the pose by transitioning to sugar cane so you need to bend your right knee and catch a hold of that foot if it's accessible if not you can just hold your half moon and then you're pressing your knee in towards the palm to lift it up a little more maybe lean the weight back a little take another breath and let's release the down dog bend the left knee step the right toes back palms to the ground take your vinyasa inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale downward facing dog so we're gonna meet towards the top of the mat or sorry we're gonna meet towards the middle of the mat so walk your feet in and walk your palms back widen the distance between your feet heels in toes out malasana or your yogi squat as you bend the knees drop the hips bring your hands at your heart and use the elbows to open up the knees a little more and lift the chest taking a little bit of a bind here you'll need to lower down and then bring your right fingertips out in front of you and over towards the right keep pressing your left knee open and extend your left arm out so notice how that left knee kind of wants to coil in you need to squeeze your glutes even though your elbow is no longer there to support that leg stay here if it's enough or you're going to bring your left hand towards your lower back and maybe reach your right fingertips back as well to interlace and catch a hold of the hands deep breath inhale and exhale let's let it go and switch sides so left fingertips forward and out to the left right arm will reach up towards the sky so notice this time right knee is going to want to coil in keep pressing it open super strong legs stay here if it's enough or you're going to bring your right hand to your lower back and bring your left fingertips behind you as you open up the shoulders one more breath let's release folding forward bend the knees generously and roll all the way up to stand inch by inch drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears once you're there and standing up so have a block somewhere close so that you can grab it if you need it we're gonna take a balancing pose with a side bend and then we're gonna strengthen our side body we'll start with tree pose first start to lean your weight onto your right leg and bring your left foot either towards the inside of your shin or up towards the inside of your thigh if it is on the inside of your thigh if you're able to catch a hold of your ankle you're going to want to do that and keep it there if not you can just keep your left hand on your hip it doesn't really matter so no big deal but if you can just grab a hold of it and then we're all going to reach our right arm up towards the sky take an inhale to lengthen and find something to focus on that's not moving we're going to come into our side bend so right fingertips reach towards the left so you're leaning over towards that bent left knee and if you fall out of it no big deal you can always just come right back into the pose let's inhale to lift all the way back up right hand down and release shake it out let's do the other side 
lean on your left leg and either bring your right foot to the inside of your shin or up towards the inner thigh. So remember, either hold on to the ankle if that's accessible, otherwise just keep your hand on your hip. As you inhale, reach your left arm up, grow really, really long, and maintain that length as you start to lean your left fingertips over towards the right, so over towards that bent leg. We want to try not to hold our breath or contract muscles that don't really need to work right now. Strong core lifts you all the way back up and let's release. All right, shake out the legs. We're gonna go into a really strong pose next. So bend the knees and start to fold forward and grab your block. So if you know your hamstrings are tight um, and keeping the legs straight while having your fingertips to the floor doesn't really work, you're gonna to wanna to put a block underneath your left hand with your left hand underneath your shoulder. Otherwise, left fingertips come straight down to the floor. And no matter which one you're doing, we're all gonna start with bent knees first and we're gonna catch a hold of our big right toe with our two-piece fingers. So bend into the knees and then shift the weight all onto the left leg, left arm. You're going to pick the right foot off the ground, straighten the legs, and then extend your right leg out to the side. So it really will not take long before you feel the left glute and the IT band start to strengthen and work. Keep trying to extend the crown of your head forward. Lower belly hugs in. Take one more breath. And let's release. Bend the knees, shake it out. Moving to the other side. So either the block goes underneath your right hand and the right hand is underneath your shoulder or the right fingertips come down to the floor. Bend your knees a little so you can easily catch a hold of that big left toe with your two-piece fingers. Once you have that, rock the weight into the right hand and right leg. Straighten the legs and pluck that left hip up. From here, let's open up to the side. Try not to contract through the belly. Keep reaching and expanding in all directions, breathing deeply. Soften the muscles in the face. One more breath. And let's release. Shake it out. And let's wiggle it back into our downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa from here. Inhale to plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale downward facing dog. Let's set our knees to the floor and swing our legs forward. We're going to lower all the way down onto our backs. So probably after that last pose that we've just done, you'll probably, or if you're like me anyway, you'll feel the burn in the IT band and in the glutes. So we're going to release that. Cross your right ankle over the top of your left thigh. Keep your right foot flexed and press your right knee away from you. From here, keep that shape with the legs. Just drop your left thigh to the left and your right foot will come down to the floor. Right arm can reach out to the side so the shoulder stays flat to the ground. I find it easier to hold on to my right ankle with my left hand or you can use your left hand to press the right thigh away from you whatever helps you stretch a little bit deeper. Deeper into that right hip. So we are slowing down our practice. Holding the poses for a little bit longer to improve flexibility and mobility in the joints. If your heart is racing a little, you can take longer inhales and even longer exhales to slow it down. Five deep breaths. And 
engage the abdominals a little bit so that you can lift the legs back up to center and uncross them. We'll move to the other side. So this time it's just your left ankle that goes over the top of your right knee. Press your left knee away from you, keep that foot firmly flexed, and then you're gonna drop your right thigh and your left foot down to the floor. So left foot should be really flat to the ground and you can either hold on to your left ankle with your right hand or you can use your right hand to press that thigh away from you. Anchor that left shoulder down to the floor so the chest is facing up. Two more breaths into the chest and all the way down into that left hip, inviting it to open up a little more. And let's release, come back to center. So we have one last pose before we do Shavasana. This is probably my all time favorite pose ever. It's called Bananasana and it's an amazing way to stretch the side body. So with your knees bent, feet flat to the floor, you'll want to lift your hips and shift them as far over towards the right side of the mat as you can. Now wiggle your feet and your shoulders and chest over towards the left. So almost like you're doing a standing side bend, but you're doing it lying down on the floor. Reach the arms up overhead and grab a hold of opposite elbows. Keep pressing your right hip to the floor. So from here, you should already be feeling a bit of a stretch all along the right side of your body. If you want to deepen it, you can cross your right ankle over the left. 10 breaths right here. The further you're able to send your hips to the right and your chest to the left, the deeper the side bend will be. Relax the facial muscles, the arms and the legs. Very little effort required. If you have the ankles cross, you can uncross it and bring your arms back alongside you. Just bend the knees so that you can shift your hips all the way to the left this time and then wiggle the upper body and your ankles and feet over towards the right. Re-extend the arms once you're there. Keep your left shoulder and your left hip pressing into the floor. And if you wanted to deepen, this time it's your left ankle that would cross over the right. 10 breaths on this side.
Enjoying your last three breaths in the pose. Unwind. From here, we're going straight into Shavasana. So get yourself back on the mat in a way that is comfortable for your lower back, and for your shoulders. Take up some space. And notice how different you feel now as opposed to when you first stepped onto your mat. If you'd like to enjoy a longer shavasana, you are more than welcome to stay lying down here for as long as you'd like. Otherwise, let's wake ourselves back up. Breathing deeper, inviting gentle movement back into the body. We can take one last stretch, reaching the arms overhead, getting long from fingertips to toes. Feel that expansion you've done through the sides of the waist. And then bend the knees, roll over to one side. Help yourself up to take a seat. Either cross-legged or kneeling or sitting up on a block, sitting up nice and tall. Let's finish our practice with one breath together. Hands can join at the front of the heart. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Thumbs can lift up towards the forehead, hinging at the waist, closing our practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this class with me. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.